Hey everyone, it's Joel. Um, if you hear music in the background or loud talking, my boyfriend's watching Big and Rob or Rob and Big, whatever it's called. Uh, anyways, so I have um, a couple things I want to share with you and then I'm probably going to do another video on a tutorial uh, to make charms, so stay tuned for that. But anyways, uh, I just wanted to share with y'all, um, if you haven't seen my cherry blossoms already, this is what they look like. And I decided to make some out of aluminum cans. Now, uh, I love Lily's, uh, Lejack 97, I believe. I loved her flowers, and um, she did a tutorial on them. And uh, I loved her flowers. I didn't want to steal her exact flower, so I made my own cherry blossoms um, with aluminum cans, and I just dropped it. But um, that's pretty much it. Uh, it's pretty cute. So... I don't know if it wears down your punches or not, but if it does, I'm probably going to get me the exact same punch that I have, but one for flour, I mean, one for paper, and then one for aluminum cans. So, I mean, that might be a little ridiculous, but I don't want to wear down my, my punch, you know, so. Anyway, uh, I also have two tags I made for my contest. Um, the first one is this one, and I use a regular manila tag that I believe Carly gave to me. And um, I glimmer misted it with some Lindy Stamp Gang Moon Shadow. And I don't know exactly which one it is because I used, I made two tags and I used two different uh, Lindy Stamp Gang mists. And they're very similar. The only difference is their glimmer is a different color. So one of them, I, this one's got a purple glimmer. You can see that. And I think that would be this one. It's called the Bluebeard blue violet. I love this stuff. And um, I also put some uh, iridescent mediums in just random spots to give it a little bit more character. Uh, I took a picture and glued her down. And then I made a bow and then I used the tails to make a frame. Then I added some more and then I got some pearls and a little plate that says sightseeing, a butterfly, and some Boonma roses from I Am Roses. These were white, these two were white, and I glimmer mist them with glimmer mist. And then this one came like it was um, from Boonma, and I just put some iridescent medium on some of it. And I wish I didn't because it kind of looks, I don't like it. But uh, let's see, I added some, uh, some sheer ribbon, and I uh, added it by stapling it. And I like that way more than just tying it, so I'm probably going to do that from now on. And then I added a little uh, charm. I got from my ballerina dress form, I took them all off and I'm making them into charms. So instead of just having it hanging, I put a little brad through and uh, it just swivels. So I like that. I think it's cute. So that's that tag. And then I also made this one using the same basic concept. Uh, I glimmer misted the back. First I, um, I crinkled it up and uh, embossed congrats and uh, Lenny Stamp Gang Embossing Powder. And let me see what color that is. It is the Angel Wings Peacock uh, Moon Glow Embossing Powder. And then I sprayed it with one of the uh, Moon Shadow Mist. I think this one's the Smoky Sapphire and it has like a lighter purple kind of green glimmer I guess if that's the one that this is. I don't know, I can't, I don't remember which one I use on which. And I don't really know the exact colors on them yet because I haven't used them that much. But um, then I used some flourishes that I got from Carla. These are the Tim Holtz flourishes. Thank you, Carla. And I painted it with iridescent medium just over the uh, color that she cut it out in. So it's a blue, but it has like a little shiny effect to it. And did the same things with the flowers and the butterfly. Added a bow and then uh, stapled some more. Um, sheer ribbon. And, uh, let's see. I, I guess I have time to do the charms. So I'm, uh, someone asked me to do a charm video because I made a video for Katie showing uh, the basic tools you're going to need for jewelry making. So I know there's a bunch of tutorials out there, but I got a request, so, you know, I'm going to help. <laughs> but what you're basically going to need is just some basic beads. And I have here, um, some clear and super light pink beads. You can barely tell the difference between the clear and the, and the white. 
I mean the clear and the uh, pink. These are the pinks and these are the clear. So I just have some basic beads. And then I also have a little hanging uh, charm that's kind of like a crystal uh, heart. And you're also going to need a head pin, which is a flat, flat pin. And you're also going to need a loop pin, which has a loop. And you will also need a jump ring. And the tools you'll need, um, you're going to need some pliers. I like to use two so I can get a better grip on the things I'm trying to grab, but you can just use one. Uh, you're also going to need some wire cutters and some round nose pliers. And they're round all the way. Okay, so what you're going to do first is you're going to design your beads. I already have mine in mind. So I'm going to take my loop pin, which is this one right here, and uh, you're going to design your first bead. And I'm going to take this round clear bead and I'm going to put it on. Okay, so it's like that. And I'm going to take this little uh, um, bicone shaped light pink bead. You can barely see it. And I'm going to put that one on. Okay, and then I'm going to take another clear round bead and put that on. So now you have your basic first part of your charm. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to hold it together with your fingers. You're going to take pliers and you're going to bend this wire at a 90 degree angle. So you want to grab about maybe, maybe, uh, I don't know, like that much and you're going to bend it at a 90 degree angle. So it's going to look like that. Okay? Then you're going to go down about half an inch, which is about right there. Okay? And you're going to cut the wire. You're going to take your round nose pliers, which are these, and you're going to twist your hand like this, grab the end, and decide how big you want to hold. The, the further down you get towards the pliers, the bigger the hole you're going to get, or the bigger loop you're going to get. So I want a semi-small loop, so I'm going to go about right there, and I'm just going to roll my wrist until I get a loop. Okay? Now, it's never going to be perfect. It's kind of hard. If you don't like it, you can always unroll it and then go further down until you get about the shape that you want. So I'm going to kind of adjust mine and just roll again. Then you can adjust it. My dog's about to bark. Oh, well, maybe not. Okay. So, anyways, you're just going to adjust it by just, you know, fiddle farting around with it with your round nose pliers. And then you can close the loop with your pliers, your regular pliers. And uh, you can also flatten it out by just taking it in between your pliers and just smushing down. So, there's your first part. And the loops don't have to be perfect, you guys. Nobody's going to care. Okay, so there's your first part. And uh, your second part, so this is going to be the top part. And the bottom part, you want to have the head pin. So you're going to string on your beads. And I'm going to have this little uh, weird shaped clear bead. And then I'm going to take my square pink bead. And that's all you need. Then you're going to bend it at a 90 degree angle again. Okay, cut about half an inch down from the actual bend, which is about there. Round nose pliers. Sorry, you guys. Okay. And then just kind of make it look good, close the loop, sorry y'all can barely see that, okay, so I'm just adjusting mine to where I like it, okay, so then what you're going to do is you want to attach the two pieces together, so I'm going to do this one, I'm going to go at the end of the loop where it's opening and I'm going to uh, pull it outward, never pull it straight, because that will uh, ruin the actual circle shape. You want to actually bend it outward. So I have it bent outward. As y'all can probably not see. See how it's bent outward? I'm going to take this one 
I'm going to take the smaller loop and I'm just going to loop it through that one. And I'm going to close the loop again by just bending the opposite direction. So I'm just going to close it like that. Okay, so there's your charm itself. Okay, and then you'll take your uh, jump ring and you'll open it up the same way. You'll find the opening and you'll just take your finger. This is good when you have two pliers. You can just take your finger and bend it outward. Put it through the loop in the other one, the top piece. So there you have it. And then you're just going to close it. Okay, so there's a basic charm. You can make it however long you want or however short. You can just take this part and put it in the jump ring instead of just having this middle piece. Uh, also, you can... Let me take this one off for a second. You can take this one off and kind of change it up a bit by adding this one. So you're just going to do the same thing. This is just a giant jump ring. You're just going to open it up and loop it through. And then close the giant jump ring. And there you go. There's your charm. And then you just uh, either string it through or string like a ribbon or something through here and then tie it. Or you can uh, open it up and attach it to some chain. So that's pretty much all there is to making a charm. Uh, you can make it however long or however short you want. You can uh, add all kinds of things to it. Um, I might make a video of a more advanced charm, but uh, this is just your basic charm. So, hope y'all enjoyed that, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.